So let's get to our Dr. David Agus, who joins us from his home in Los Angeles. Dr. Agus, good morning. We have not one but two bits of hopeful news out of the world of medicine today. So let's start with that drug, remdesivir. Uh, Dr. Anthony Fauci cautiously optimistic about it. It's an antiviral drug, which means it blocks the virus from replicating. What more can you tell us about it? You know, in mid-January, it was my first meeting on COVID-19, and literally every day since then, we've dreamt of the moment we could say, we have a drug that we know works. And we could say that here, a thousand patients, decreasing hospitalization by four days, the death rate is down about 30%, although it's not statistically significant. Um, so very powerful. These are treating people who are what we call moderately to severely ill. They're short of breath and uh, they're very symptomatic. Classically with antivirals, the earlier you treat, the more outcome, clinical outcome you get and the better it is. So seeing this at this stage is very encouraging. We have something in our arsenal to treat the disease. That is exciting. Very, very encouraging indeed. Are there any caveats in your mind, anything we should be looking out for? No, I mean, this is, you know, the study has not been peer reviewed. And so that's important is that this is the NIH study, which the initial data were released yesterday. Now it's going to be reviewed and then the FDA will assign it uh, hopefully approval so it can be used in mass across the country. And the company is giving away the first million and a half doses of this for free to the country for treatment of patients with COVID-19. Yeah, NIH double blind, known as a gold standard study in the way it was organized. Now let's go to Oxford University, talk about a vaccine. Scientists there think they may have a vaccine ready by September, way earlier than otherwise scheduled. How promising is that? It's pretty wild. I mean, this is the university that survived the plague in the 1300s, but they had developed a vaccine for MERS, a former virus uh, that did, you know, was tried in patients, did not uh, uh, spread the virus, so the vaccine was shelved. And they just switched out the portion from MERS to COVID-19 and put it into monkeys and challenged monkeys with the virus. After 28 days, no signs or symptoms from the virus at all. So because it had already been in patients, a similar virus, they're starting out with 6,000 patients over the next six weeks. So dramatically scaled. And then if that's positive, they're going to go forward with literally millions of doses to try to get this very soon into people across the globe. So big, big step, vaccine equals, we will be on top of this disease. So new drug, vaccine, certainly an amazing day in the fight against COVID-19. First positive one in a while. Uh yeah, that's right. And Dr. Agus, uh, we should mention that you've also had conversations with the White House yourself personally about fast tracking a vaccine. What can you tell us about that? It's called Operation Warp Speed. And the, the key thing is, is that there are up to 70 companies now with vaccine candidates. And so what the government and others are trying to do is say, I think these four or five are probably the best. Let me start making them and manufacture them in case the trials work. So take the risks now and don't wait to see which works or which wins the bake off. Start making the lead candidates now. So when the data are there, the next day we can roll it out across the country. It's key to think forward. All right, Dr. David Agus with that insight into two bits of hopeful news this morning. Thank you very much.